Hello, Just Too Good here with another OSRS. Leave your marks and memes about Lego. I'll rate them all in the next episode of... What, what even is that? Now, let's see what you guys got this week. So, the first post says the king has returned. When you were gone for nine years, but come back and every Lego fan still loves you. I'm still worthy. That's awesome. Of course, with clutch powers. I like that. I'd give that a 6 out of 10. That's by Nathan Studios. When you try your best and you don't succeed. When you're in an argument and you know you're wrong, but you're still trying to make it work. Yeah, I forgot which glitch that's from. And excuse my phone right there. But uh, that, I, I forgot which instructions. It might have even been like the Death Star, actually. But maybe I'm totally wrong with that. If you know, leave it in the comments. I'd give that a 6 out of 10 because I think I've seen that meme before. It might be stolen. All right, enter words here. Name me a line that was so good it should return. Mixels, power miners. I say Fabuland. <laughs> I wish they would do Fabuland again, but they never will. And hey, I'd take power miners any day. Mixels, not so much. That's by Tungster Elixir. Six out of ten. Not sure if this has been done already. This aged well. Iron Man, Mark 38, Igor. 50% likely. Yeah, I know. I like our version much better than the official version. Not much of a meme, more of a point, but okay, nerd alert. Pretty interesting point you bring up there, because I forgot how the R's looked. Remember the good old days? Uh, this one. Um, okay, uh, the mustache one and that, and it's it's on the... I'm, I'm confused what's really going on here. I confuse out of 10 Lego pizza roll. It's, it is kind of a crap pose. <laughs> I'd give it a 5 out of 10, actually. When do you see an unopened box of Disney Series 2? Eh, that's kind of crappy meme, my less dubs. I'd give that like a 3 out of 10. Actually, let's see the top for the last week. Uh, let's see if there's anything super cool there. Uh, upvote, so Jessica has uh, to review a picture of nothing. Yeah, 1 out of 10. This is terrible content, Talent Wolf. All right, we got, I finally attained all six Infinity Stones, but uh, the Infinity Stones aren't even loading. I mean, that, that oh, oh, we got it. Aha, uh -huh. those are the real Infinity Stones. That's pretty funny. I'd give that one like a 7 out of 10 because I love Monster Fighters and that's a nice reference. Never seen anybody call them Infinity Stones. Clutch Friggin' Powers is back, baby. Oh, I'm trying not to say Frickin' because I got like a message from the mother of like a younger fan who said every time I say Frickin' she pulls her child away from my videos. So I I'm trying to make an effort there. But uh, Dr. John Smith, remember him? This is him now. Feel old yet? Well, I mean... Yeah, it was a couple years back that uh, the movie came out. Uh, 2010, so nine years ago. Captain America went too far back. Ah, uh, that's funny. That's 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 cute. All right, so Dr. John Smith, 6 out of 10. This one's cute, um, 6 out of 10. Uh, John, I require immediate lasagna or else I will spontaneously combust. Ugh, I do not like the Garfield Big Fig. That's by the real Yum Yum. That is freaky, okay? And you got me, Lego. Uh, ha, ha. I, I don't like that meme. I'd give that like a, a 3 or 2 out of 10. That little circle meme or whatever where you look there. It's middle school stuff. Lego Mission X. Everywhere I go, I see his face. <laughs> it's a brick shell. <laughs> That's funny, Lego Mission X. That's actually really well done. That's like a 7 out of 10 meme. Good job, man. Uh, the shark movie is still pretty good. Mom, can we get Jaws? No, we have Jaws at home. At home, Lego Shark. Yes. Yes, that's perfect. I love that epic chill. That's that's a good one. Seven out of ten. It took me a while to make. Only the most intellectuals can decode. Okay, this is gonna be. Oh, this one's easy. Hello, Jesse Good here. Back with another video. Oh, back with another CMF draft. Okay, back with another. I don't know what this means right here, but this I get that. Back with oh Fortnite. Okay, Lego Mission X. I got it. Um, that one, you know, that one was easier to decode, so I'm going to have to give that one a 6 out of 10. The one last week was crazy, that was, that was great. Alright, my favorite heroes from the MCU. Oh, two classics right there, so TTH blocks, you have Dummy and you have the Fireman. Eh, you know, 5 out of 10, I'm sorry bro, I like the picture though. Okay, 6 out of 10, because I do like the picture, it's the, I like how you had the shadows and everything. Just to do it. Alright, let's check this out. Beautiful TTH blocks. And by the way, yeah, just uh, so people don't get confused. Where is it? Right there. Okay. 
There's no no other word which said there's fecking, okay? So I've never heard anybody say that word before fecking. I didn't even know that was a thing. But um Wow. <laughs> thanks for I I hate Diddy memes, so thanks for that. That was that was like a crap post, but like alright. Six out of ten TTH box. Six out of ten TTH box. I found this on a J2G video. The greatest hero ever. You know what? This was foreshadowing what happened with Fireman. I didn't even think about that because I love that piece. That's a great print. I think it was introduced a few years back, but Cola War, good point. Seven out of 10, I mean, we didn't even notice that. When you see that Jessica owns the collector's edition of Undertale and uses Undertale Deltarune music in his videos, but it never gave us a CMF draft for the games. Instead, we keep getting CMF drafts after draft for Fortnite. Yeah, because you know, the last, what, five CMF drafts for Fortnite, you, you really got us there. But real talk though, my plan when the full game of Deltarune is coming out, I'm going to, we're going to release a CMF draft of both games in one. Probably have 22 minifigures. Looking forward to that, but Ash and Flash hasn't played it, so that's going to take a little while to make. We'll see when it pops out, but uh, yeah. Do love the games, love the music. Um, I think they have the best soundtracks of any video games, honestly. That's crazy to say, because Pokemon exists and, and Paper Mario exists, but they're amazing. I mean, come on. All right. This brought all the street cred. When you have every character unlocked in LEGO Star Wars and you use free play mode to reimagine scenes from the movies. <laughs> Reality can be whatever I want it to be. Okay, that's awesome, D-Boss. Uh, so, six out of 10, six out of 10. Um, I'm a rare type. All right, liking Hero Factory, me. Being a normal LEGO fan. Mm, Pepsi Man Vivo, I'd go like a four out of 10. That's kind of a crappy crap post. Uh, also Pretzel Girl. All right, let's see. When Jesse Good releases a new episode of, of um, when Jesse Good releases a new OSRS episode, 2010 Ghost Flying Bag, Igor, Fireman, <laughs> Shellman, <laughs> the time has come. <laughs> That's funny. Eldest Box, seven out of ten. All right, six, twelve, twenty. Kick some brick. Clutch Powers to Electric Boogaloo. All right, June 2020. Yeah, it's going to theaters this time, guys. Watch out. I love that though, uh, feature length films. That's a funny little custom. I wouldn't even call that a meme. That's just a cool little custom poster. All right, Old Town Road, but it's just too good. This is gonna be a copyright strike, isn't it? Yeah, I'm gonna ride Second my horse to the Old Town Road. I'm gonna ride it till the I can't. No, more. I'm gonna ride my horse to the Old Town Road. I'm gonna ride it till the I can't. No, more. Um, that probably took a long time to make. Thank you. <laughs> How much else to say there? When Jesse Good scrolls right past your meme, how dare he? Yeah, that happens. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, absolutely Studios, I'd give that a 6 out of 10. Uh, Drake out, the doctor's in. Stickers, printed pieces. Ooh, I like this format. This is a cool format. Okay, we gotta start using this. Beaches 0937. Uh, you know? I mean, I wish the content of the meme was better, but I like the new format, so I'll give it a 6 out of 10. I'm not sorry. Shark, yes, yes. Okay, that was that was by Mr. Memely. That was by Mr. Memely. That's dope, dude. Look, I've come out of the bathroom sink to post more memes. All right, Dylan Wingle. Fans, you can't already have the new Stranger Things set. It was just announced. Just to observe. <laughs> Haven't seen that format before. Um, that's pretty funny. Six out of ten. We all know the warnings. Lego instruction book. Me. Do not cite the deep magic to me, which I was there when it was written. <laughs> That's kind of cute, Lego pizza roll. I don't know. Yeah, five out of ten. Lego, please. Hi, C J E D. Everywhere I go, I see his face. <laughs> that's actually funny. That's <laughs> that's relevant. That's relevant because they, we do get so much of him. Yeah, I'd give that one a seven out of ten. That's funny. Hi, C J D. C J E D. I think the fireman memes are dead, but who cares? I have an army. We have firemen. <laughs> that's wow. Somebody really has that many of them? That's crazy. That is crazy. Um, that, that was funny though. I'd give that a six out of 10 by SB Beard 2437. Like I last meme. I think we all know what will happen eventually. Oh shoot. No, I don't I don't think I think Mega's safe. Creo is dead. So yeah. They I think these McFarlane toys they're not making anymore because those construction toys sold terribly. Best lock is the discount one, so I think that one's safe too. And I think Ionix is dead. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, but that's by Seacrafter Red. That's that's kind of funny. Six out of ten. All right, now for some fan art. You can hear this in his voice. When fans ask if their fan art is good, just good. 
<laughs> Streety RT. All right, to be fair, people don't usually ask, is this fan art good? They post the fan art, okay? That's all, all right, all right. I, I love any of the fan art I get. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have bias towards it because it's, it's usually stuff involving me and that's crazy. It just blows my mind that people are drawing artwork based on my channel, like that's just, that's just crazy to me. So that's my response to that meme, Streety RT. Okay, subreddit, search party, assemble, save J2G. Have you seen me? <laughs> That's cute. That's cute. I like that. That's a cute little fan art. Beaches0937. I've seen your name before. I'm new to Reddit, so I hope I know what I'm doing. But anyway, what do you think of my Disney Pixar CMF drafts? Of course, I have a lot more CMF drafts working. I'm totally inspired by Ash and Flash's Lego artwork, and I hope you check out my channel for other CMFs. Thanks. Uh, okay, this is a lot of characters here. Um... Oh my, so much. Uh, I'm trying to see ones that stand out that I really like. I like how you did Randall. Uh, I like how you did, <laughs> for Anger, you did uh, the SpongeBob headpiece. I think that's a funny, nice part usage. Uh, Sully's a big fig. You have artistic talent to draw all of these. That's crazy. So thank you for sharing Chef Lego Alex. I guess check out his channel if you guys want to see more. So there you go. Here's something that I drew during school. Hope you like it. Dude, this is awesome, Jay Walker Studios. This is so cool. Four out of 10, just too good. -na 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 -na. All right, that's awesome. Fabulant on the side. This is, this is such cute. I love little artwork like this. This is so cute, dude. Fun little sketch I did. Piss off, ghost. <laughs> nice little reference to Thor Ragnarok there. Um, another great artwork. I love, I like the dimension you have here. You have a little 3D look to it. That's so cute. All right, Justin Jonah Jameson. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Bring me pictures of Fireman instead of Spider-Man. And look, he's, he's battling Molten Man on the back. These are awesome fan art. I love all of these, dude. Steven's Brick. That's dope as heck. So here's a complete LEGO Ben 10 CMF series. That's awesome. We, we did this last uh, last episode, but now we get different perspectives and stuff. That's by Mars Doral and even more characters. That's really cool. Again, I don't watch the show, but I like what you did here. I drew this at school, what do you think? This is by Benny the Animator. Oh, that's awesome. I like how you have shading on here too. That's again, great artwork. Um, and the little ghost looks adorable here. We can't be scared of him. This dude made a life-size version of Emmett's Emmett and Lucy Forever Pillow from the Lego Movie 2. It's by Upbeat Ruin. That's so cool, dude. That's, that's dope as heck. Uh, yeah, I like that. That's adorable. All right, just 8-bit. Made with sandbox color by number. That's so cool. Look at that little 8-bit version of Ash and Flash's artwork by Krusty Krab 2 for profit. All right, this took him an hour. Is it bad? Please don't give me a 1 out of 10. <laughs> I don't write fan art, but let's see. J2 OSRS assemble, please. You insulted me. Fine. Why are we friends? Okay. Really, what is it? This time, I was battling Molten Man. Fine. So they're all okay just assembling once I call for them to assemble. This is so cute though. Uh, thank you, Baconator, I think Baconator. Uh, nice artwork there, dude. This person drew Longtooth from Chima. I haven't heard that name in a while, Longtooth, um, but yeah, I think I have a speeder or two of him. That's by Alleycat67.5. They need advice on coloring because when they do it, it ruins the picture. Well, I don't think it ruined the picture. I think this is a really fine picture, but I'm not, like an art wizard or anything. So you guys in the comments, give them advice for coloring. If you are if you know art or anything like that. Fan art are the Lord and savior just to get I created in Microsoft Paint. I call it just too mediocre. Look at, yeah, I'm Otaku's mock here. He says, can it dab? And his very own custom Lego Doctor Strange minifigure. That's really cool. I, I like that torso that's from Chima. <laughs> I noticed that with the little belt right there. Uh, Detective Pikachu gang in Lego. I know the Pokemon are oversized. Well, yeah, but you're making it out of existing Lego pieces and it looks really cute that way. I think you did a good job. Uh, custom Samu Kai. That's crazy. He's super powerful there by Ninja Bricks. And sorry, the other one was Flow for Real 99. Um, it's over Anakin. I have the high ground. You have a little vignette there by Sick Bricks. Uh, slightly more accurate Malibu mansion using two sets, two 76007 sets and one 76125 sets. That looks really elaborate as well. Nice job there. So this is an upgrade of Spider-Gwen from Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse by Jay Walker Guy 529 That's really cool as well. And custom Iron Man 2 minifigures by the 84th. Nice there. I guess those are all 
I was looking at, I think those are all, yeah, um, purest pieces. So that's really cool as well. Because that's the torso of the racer guy from series 18. So that's nice. And uh, he actually built it and it's great. There you go, a little guillotine. That's pretty dark, but thank you, GDY Bennis. Very cool. And we don't have a, an, a, he doesn't have an official Thor minifigure, so he made a custom of him from an Infinity War using existing pieces. And that looks really cool as well. And that is it for this episode. Either way, leave your thoughts and comments below. Submit more of your memes, mocks, fan art, whatever you want on the subreddit. Link's in the description. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.